Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. Congratulations. You've been nominated for Premier League Manager of the Season amongst the likes of Pep, Jurgen, Mikel. What does that say about your achievement? What was it like when you were told that you'd been nominated? Uh, I think it's uh, something uh, for the club. I think no, probably uh, people think that we have done a, a very good season, and uh, it's, it's, it's good to see yourself, no, in, with this kind of, of recognition. I think the other nominees, I think they are in another level. I would say it's true. Uh, they are the top four teams in the in the in the league, and I think it's. It's good that a club that like like us uh, receive this kind of, of recognition, but the same way as I don't know uh, if it goes for Sondays or for Gary O'Neill or that they are doing also very good jobs, probably not fighting for the Champions League or or for the the, the, the top prizes. And I think it's it's it's, it's nice to to re, to receive the the nomination. Yes. Where were you? Who told you? I was here. I was here working, and I think it was Ash. He was here, and and, and he told me. But uh, we are not used to these things in Spain. Normally, it's not so big as it looks here, and uh, it's, it's new also for for me. But I'm happy, especially for the for the club. No? What does it say about the achievement for you personally this season, your first season in English football, the fact that Bournemouth have got a record points tally, you could still finish in the top ten, you've rebuilt the, the team, you've got a different backroom team with, with very little experience. What does it say about the achievements for you personally that you've spearheaded all of that? Uh, obviously it hasn't been a... Uh, it looks like it has been a very easy season now after when it finishes. No, I think it was especially... The, the start was not so so good, but I think we've been improving no? as, a, as a team. I think the players feel more more confidence. I always say that coaches, we are not so important. At the end, it's a matter of the quality of the players we have at our disposal. And I think players have shown this season no? that they can compete against against the very good teams. And I hope we can continue no? the, the development of the players, uh, keeping the, the squad as, as strong as we can and, uh, and, 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 and be at the level of the competition that is very high. Bill Foley, the owner, has been very open and transparent with his targets, with his projections and what he'd like to achieve. Europe is something that's very much on his agenda. Do you feel that this season is the perfect foundation for you to springboard into the top ten, the top eight and to push forward once again? I think there are a lot of teams better than us in the Premier League is what I feel. Uh, I think uh, we have to be at our best to compete against uh, the teams that are above us. I think uh, our results have been quite logical, let's say. We've been, we haven't taken the results against the top teams. We've taken some or, or better results against the, the teams around us, and we've been very good against the team that finished uh, at the at, at the back of the of the standing, so I think we have still a lot of uh, room to grow, and uh, we have to continue improving because at the end, uh, this is I think the, the, it's very demanding, the the Premier League, and if if you stop improving, probably you will finish lower. You've won two of your last three, beaten in your last outing against Arsenal. How important is it for you personally that you finish the, the season as strongly as you have been since November, not just let it peter out, you get the points tally and then stop winning games? How important is it that that level and that intensity is still there right to the very end? Yeah, we have two more chances. No, I'm happy that uh, the team has been fighting every game, even the other day that we lost. I think we finished uh, strong the game. And I hope we continue the same way. We have to be at our very best if we want to beat uh, Brentford. I think it's a team that uh, they are coming in, in a good moment also. They've recovered a very, very important players for them that have been probably out for some time this, this season. But it's, uh, it's a team that uh, for me is, is going to be very difficult. And if we want to, to fight, you know, for example, to be in the top 10, even if it's not in our hand, because we have to remember that Brighton has one game in hand, uh, the, only, the only chance we have is if we win tomorrow. Let's get into the team news. No Lloyd Kelly for the Arsenal game. Mm. He wasn't very well. There's been some suggestions that he may never play for the club because of his contractual situation. And of course, he could potentially sign a, a big money deal with someone else. Is he available this weekend? Yeah, Has he trained? He will play tomorrow. I don't know if he will start, no start, but uh, he will play definitely tomorrow. He will be involved, has been training all the week normally. 
and uh, I have no concerns about uh, about this. Do you still think there's a chance he could stay at Bournemouth, or have you accepted that he believes he wants to take that next step and maybe move to a bigger club? Uh, for me, it's very difficult right now. For me, I would say, but my opinion, eh? uh, maybe he receive a good surprise, and but for me, it's even more difficult when when the time goes and you arrive without a contract, because I know that the club has been pushing because we consider him. I've told you a lot of times during the season. For me, he's one of our best players. Uh, but right now it becomes more and more difficult because the end arrives and and and, and I suppose it, it it's more difficult. But uh, uh, and there is there is chances uh, until this is not the, the out of contract. There there are chances. And in terms of other team news for for players, yeah. anyone coming back? Anyone you've lost? Yeah, I think we will recover Lloyd Kelly. You consider Lloyd Kelly, but uh, uh, he, he was not injured. Uh, and I think uh, Tyler Adams and Marcus Tavernier will be part of the of the squad. Yes. And obviously Brentford have, have had a, a, tip, a difficult run of, of late, but they've managed to survive. I guess really the, the model that Thomas Frank has there, the, the style of play, the fact they've been in the Premier League for a number of years since getting promoted is, is very similar to what Bournemouth's aspirations would be. How different a side of Bournemouth compared to the 2-2 when you played them earlier in the campaign? I think it's a, it's a team that uh, they have the, the, the things they do very clear. You can see that they've been a lot of time with the same manager. They, they have the set pieces, even the throw-ins, the small details. The, everything is very well worked. So uh, I think it's going to be really demanding. Uh, I think it's an established team in the Premier League. They've done very, very good season previously. And I think they've been affected by the by the injuries, but they couldn't play with Ivan Tony for a lot of months. Uh, players very important and Beumo, Shea, that they were really good against us when we faced them, that they've been out and probably uh, they haven't finished in the in the place they deserved. And if you look at the stats and the, the, the way they play, I think it's going to be difficult because they, they, they don't give you a lot. They press a lot. They press a lot. The same way we will want. So everything will be very... A lot of fight there in the middle without a lot of space and whoever wins this, this battle in the middle I think will be dictating the game. Obviously you're going to see two of the, the best English strikers go go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Dominic Solanke for Bournemouth, Ivan Tony for, for Brentford. Ivan hasn't scored in his last 10 Premier League appearances. Dom hasn't scored in three, uh, but, he's, but he's never not scored in four consecutive games this season. He's always bounced back. If you were Gareth Southgate, would you be picking Ivan Tony? Or Dominic Solanke to go no, to the Euros? No, it's not fair. I cannot answer you. It's not you can fair. if you want. No, I can, but I will not. <laughs> I will not. I think you will know my answer, but I don't think it's uh, it's fair. I think uh, it's his job to choose. No, uh, obviously, I'm very, very happy with with Dom Solanke. Uh, it cannot be other way. He has been amazing all the season, performing very well for us, giving us everything, and. Uh, Everything I can say about Dom is very, very positive and very, very honest. Uh, he has been, I don't know if our best or one of our best players this season. But I also think Ivan Tony is a very good player. Uh, probably haven't followed his season the same way, but uh, uh, they are decisions that uh, I don't have to make. And just finally, on, on Dominic Solanke, he's obviously close to 20 Premier League goals this season. How defining could his future be at Bournemouth depending on how he finishes the season if he scores another two or three or four goals in your last two games could that potentially change what happens over the summer if he if he peters out could he find himself still at Bournemouth because of course there'll be a lot of interest in him because he's a goal scorer I don't think it will change I don't think any team will say no I'm going to spend the crazy money because he scored 20 and if he scores 19 no then I don't know I don't think I think everyone knows Dom Solanke uh, I think he's playing very well since the beginning of the season, apart from his goals. And we are very happy to have him. He's under contract, he's very happy. So right now there is no uh, any case no, of, of, of Dom. But uh, it's, it's normal that players that uh, are scoring the goals, they are scoring like, like Dom. And they receive the recognition and the attention from other teams. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. And just to go back to the, the Dom Solanke, Ivan Tony, we don't know if Gareth Southgate is on the attendance list for tomorrow, whether he's requested a ticket, but it'll give us a hint if he is here. Um, do you think it is a shootout? Do you think there is a place for either Dom Solanke or Ivan Tony in the squad? Now there's 26. 
I cannot answer these things. I, I, I really cannot because I don't know what uh, what in this case Southgate is thinking, how he wants to play, the system, the alternatives he's uh, the, the, the he has in 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 his head. If they are losing, if he's thinking to play a certain way or the other, so we can talk, we can discuss, we can give our opinions. But at the end, it's a matter of every national team coach knows what they want to do, what in case it's not working, how they want to change it, and I don't think we can we can say and no. For me, it's very easy because I'm mean, I'm Dom's uh, coach, but I don't think it's it's fair. You will, you know, you have already a couple of players who will be in the Euros this summer. How will you approach that? Will you go and watch the games in person? How will you follow their progress? No, I don't think I will go in person because I have to stay here with kids at school. They finish very late, so probably I will be here in, in, in England. Uh, I really haven't thought. I really haven't thought. I will be following them for sure. I will be in touch with, with the ones that have the chance or even in the Copa America. That I, I hope we have uh, some also. And uh, I have to prepare them well for the where they come back. I'll give them some days off also because it will be a matter of depending when they are eliminated, uh, we will, they will come earlier or, or later. But uh, I think when when they are part of the national teams, uh, they are kind of not our players in that moment. No? Mark's already mentioned that the aims of maybe a top half finish and things. There are other little stats, like a 14th win would be a club record in the Premier League. Seven unbeaten at home, if you could achieve that tomorrow. Are those little extra boxes that would be nice to tick before the end of the season? Yes, obviously. Obviously, every record we can achieve is, is very welcome. Probably the the thing we look more now is the top 10, no? because you see yourself 10 in the standings. I, we know we have to be difficult games, but we want to keep pushing and try to finish there. Because uh, it would be a shame, no, to finish uh, with uh, two losses and then finish uh, the stand. I don't know, 13th, 14th, and to have it so so close and and don't push for it. After well, you can lose because the, we play very, 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 very good opposition. But we have to try and give our best, definitely. Are you a manager who only looks forward? Because if you think back to the Brentford game earlier in the season when you, you um, conceded in, in stoppage time, there's been a few of those this season. Yeah. Do you sometimes look back and think what might have been this season? I remember that game. It was a very important game for us because it was kind of in between very difficult games. And we knew no, if we don't win this one, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough because I think we were playing after Chelsea, Arsenal, difficult games, and we really needed that one. But uh, I think they they pushed us until the end. And Ben was caught on a, a very good goal, and uh, we have to to finish with just one point. But I think a lot of things have changed. Uh, players will be a lot of them the same, but uh, the the way both teams we have evolved, uh, I think it's it's going to be different. The final chance to play in front of the home fans this season tomorrow. How much has the home atmosphere and the home support been a big factor? this season because those of us who've been coming for a long time have noticed this season it has really been vociferous most of the time yeah I think especially last games I would say no the atmospheres have been really good I remember the United game great atmosphere the Brighton game the other day great atmosphere and Luton with the comeback obviously but I, I remember last games at home like uh, with the with the with the fans pushing us a lot and helping us a lot and I hope we can continue the same way, at the end, it has to start from the, the ones that are on the green. No, they have to give everything. They have to start pushing, creating the momentum, and I'm sure uh, everyone outside will will continue pushing. A final one from me. Obviously, when you signed here, you signed a two-year contract. I think I'm right in saying, which means that next season you go into the the final year. Is that situation likely to change over the summer? Will there be any talks? And also, what is your thinking with preferring to have short-term contracts? Uh, I, I don't know if preferring. I, I I only have been in this situation. All the contracts I've signed are one year. This is the first time I think I have a two years contract, and I've even finished seasons without any contract for. And I have been renewing with Rayo like this for three years, and I'm I'm very, and I'm quite calm now with the with the situation about the the contract. But whenever the 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 club wants to talk to me, obviously I'm I'm very 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 open.